hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss the signaling pathway of insulin so insulin signaling occurs by the way of tyrosine kinase but it is not the jack stat pathway it does not involve jack molecule or stat molecules uh, instead insulin receptor exists in the form of tetramer it has four subunits two alpha subunit and two beta subunits so what happens insulin comes this is a molecule of insulin and uh, insulin comes and binds to the extracellular domain of alpha subunits and when insulin binds with alpha subunits there is a conformational change uh, that is uh, that also occur in beta subunit and uh, the tyrosine kinase activity of beta subunit is activated and tyrosine residue of beta subunit are autophosphorylated these are the tyrosine residues of beta subunit and when insulin binds to alpha subunit these tyrosine residues are phosphorylated and it is autophosphorylation and uh, as a result of this autophosphorylation what happens uh, it uh, further phosphorylates the insulin receptor substrate this is insulin receptor substrate is a special kind of molecule that is involved in the uh, mechanism of insulin. Uh, so what happens, the tyrosine residue of insulin receptor substrate is also phosphorylated. This is, uh, you can say this is non-phosphorylated insulin receptor substrate and this one is phosphorylated insulin receptor substrate. So what happened here till now, insulin bound to alpha subunit, it induced the conformational change which, uh, which induced the tyrosine activity of beta subunit and uh, beta subunit, the tyrosine residue of beta subunit were autophosphorylated and uh, these uh, beta subunit in turn induced the phosphorylation of in insulin receptor substrate and this phosphorylated insulin receptor substrate goes and activates multiple enzymes and multiple uh, kinases and phosphatases that are involved in carbohydrate metabolism, lipid metabolism, uh, protein metabolism and so on and uh, alters the uh, metabolic machinery of the cell. So it was all about insulin signaling. So what happens, what are the biological effects of insulin in uh, as a consequence of the signaling mechanism? Glucose uptake by cells from blood is increased, glycogen synthesis increased, protein synthesis is increased, fast, fat synthesis is increased and uh, the glyco gluconeogenesis or glucose formation is decreased, glycogenolysis is decreased and lipolysis is decreased. Basically anabolism is uh, supported and uh, catabolism is decreased. So, uh, what happened, you, you can summarize here, insulin bound to alpha receptor, it uh, activated the tyrosine kinase activity of beta subunits and beta uh, tyrosine residue of beta subunit got autophosphorylated and it promoted the phosphorylation of insulin receptor substrate and insulin receptor substrate in turn promote the phosphorylation of different enzymes and different proteins in the cell. So it is the tyrosine kinase pathway but it is not the jack stat pathway as it is, does not involve jack or stacked proteins. Uh, so it is simple to understand insulin signaling from here. It was all about today's video. Thank you.